hi we discuss about the formation of a waves and after that ones we discuss about how the wave equation get forms today's topic is an development of a wave equation in a development of a wave equation we consider that this is an y axis and we draw this is an x axis okay which means that here we take a displacement of a wave along the x axis as an x and we take a displacement of a particle along the y axis and that denoted by the y notation now here we say that if the initially particle are at a x position which means that this is an mean position and when we provide the energy to that particle then that particle get oscillate suppose energy provided to the particle present at a origin then this particle get oscillate again some energy provided to the next 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 we already discuss how the wave get forms and then here we say that the wave formation along the x axis this is an amplitude a of the wave and here we say that the wave travels along the x axis we have put a put a wave travels along the x axis now here we say that displacement of the particle is an x okay here we consider the any point on this x axis any particle on this x axis that get oscillate along the y axis means if we consider this particle then that particle get moving up to here okay then the displacement of a particle is an y displacement of the particle is an y and the displacement of a energy which means that wave is an x displacement of a wave means energy is an x and displacement of a particle is an y total time required to travel this energy to the particle and particle get displaced from its mean position up to here which means that this total time is a taken as a t okay means time measured from the mean position energy transfer from the mean position and at the same time the time get starts then energy passes like this once and this energy moving up to this particle and energy taken by the particle and particle get displaced from here and this total time required for this process is an t time required to travel the energy only along the x axis is an t dash because this time and this time is a different one this time t dash is an only time required to travel the energy from the origin up to the distance x okay this time is a t dash okay this is an one concept now uh, you also remember the some concept of a simple harmonic motion in last video we discuss about that concept of a simple harmonic motion if we consider the equation of a simple harmonic motion if we say that this is an path along which particle get moving this position is an mean position and particle get displaced from the mean position in an horizontal means x axis then that displacement is a denoted as an x this is displacement of a particle always measured from the mean position but in that case here we consider the displacement of a particle now observe this one. this a displacement of a particle is along the y axis and the wave travel along the x axis okay then in case of this wave we write the equation of a displacement of a particle as an y means displacement of particle taken as an y we know that particle get displaced from the mean position then its equation is x is equal to a sin omega t okay omega is in its angle of frequency t is an time a is an amplitude 
Now here we consider that this particle and that get oscillates. The maximum displacement is an amplitude. Okay, maximum displacement is amplitude, but now the particle is at here. Then its a displacement is denoted by y because that displacement is along the y axis. Therefore, that displacement taken as an y. Then this equation of a simple harmonic motion of this particle written as y is equal to okay is equal to a sin omega t okay now observe this one this time is an only time required to travel the particle from the mean position now the time required to travel the particle from mean position up to the displacement y is an how much time is uh, required to move the particle from this position up to here this time t is an total time tra required to travel the energy from uh, origin up to the displacement x plus displacement of particle and this t dash is an time required to travel the energy from origin up to the displacement x okay then instead of this time here we write y is equal to a sine omega how much time required to displace the particle then this time is an t total time is an t minus t dash okay t minus t dash clear about you then after that once what is an t dash t dash is an time required to travel this energy and uh, we know the one equation of a velocity velocity is an displacement upon time then what is an displacement of the energy displacement of the energy from origin up to here is an x okay velocity of this is an velocity and this velocity is of a energy means velocity of the wave and this velocity is taken as an v time required for this one is an t dash now here we write this is an t dash then this equation can be written as v is equal to x upon t dash therefore t dash is equal to x upon v okay x upon v substitute this value in that one then this equation can be written as y is equal to a sine omega into t minus t dash is minus x upon v okay then this is an equation of the wave observe this equation this one very important ones what is the y y is a displacement of the particle what is the x x is a displacement of the wave displacement of the energy okay what is the v v is a velocity of this wave velocity of the wave what is this time t time t is in total time required to travel from the origin up to here what is this omega omega is an its angular frequency okay and a is an amplitude then this is a combination of a displacement of a particle and displacement of the energy and if we combine them then this is a displacement of the wave and we can say that this is an equation of a simple harmonic progressive wave what is a simple harmonic progressive wave this is a combination of a simple harmonic motion and a wave what is the simple harmonic progressive wave this is a combination of s yes, hm simple harmonic motion and a wave okay if we combine them then this is called as a simple harmonic progressive wave what is the definition of this one here we uh, take a very quickly uh, in a, another video we discuss about this simple harmonic progressive wave what is the definition of simple harmonic progressive wave a wave in which particle performs a simple harmonic motion we know that in a wave particle performs vibratory motion and if it performs a simple harmonic motion then this is called as a simple harmonic progressive wave okay and this is an equation of simple harmonic progressive because we combine this shm and this wave okay then this is called as an sim equation of a simple harmonic progressive wave we can write this equation in a different form 
okay uh, then this equation can also be written as y is equal to the a sine omega instead of the omega we can write this is and 2 pi n okay this is an t minus x upon what is the v v is a velocity of the wave and we know that velocity of a wave v is equal to the n lambda then here we substitute this is an n lambda okay then after that one y is equal to the a sine 2 pi if we transfer this n in a bracket then this is an n into t minus x upon n lambda into n okay then this n and n get cancelled then this equation can be written as y is equal to the a sine 2 pi n t minus x upon lambda or is equal to a sine 2 pi small t divided by capital T minus x upon lambda okay then this is an equation of a simple harmonic progressive wave y is equal to a sine 2 pi small t divided by capital T minus x upon lambda okay this lambda is an wavelength of the wave what is the wavelength the length of the one wave this is an wavelength of the wave and in case of a uh, simple harmonic progressive wave lambda is also constant time period is an also constant then uh, 2 pi is a constant a is a constant only time get changes then there is a displacement of the wave with and time the displacement get increases okay this is an equation of the wave observe this this equation also modified in a different forms this capital t can be taken as a common from this ones then this equation gets change okay uh study to karna hi padega jese hum roj ka khana khate hai waise roj ki study honi hi chahiye aap bhi a equation ek bar repeat lik lo okay good day